Terence Howard is perhaps an unexpected visionary in a world dominated by academics and industry specialists. Known primarily for his roles in film and television, Howard's appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience Hash 2152 reveals a different facet of his intellect. This interview is not merely a discussion, but a revelation of Howard's deep engagement with fundamental scientific questions and his bold answers to them. In this episode, Howard not only shares personal anecdotes but also delves into complex scientific and philosophical discussions, challenging the very foundations of these fields. The significance of this interview lies in its ability to bridge the gap between celebrity culture and intellectual discourse, making complex ideas accessible and intriguing to a broader audience. From his early days in Hollywood to his rise as a celebrated actor, Howard has always been more than just a performer. Behind the scenes, he has been deeply involved in scientific research, often spending hours poring over complex theories and equations. His passion for science is not just a hobby, but a serious pursuit, leading him to develop innovative theories that challenge conventional wisdom. Howard's presentations at various scientific conferences have captivated audiences, showcasing his ability to think outside the box and propose groundbreaking ideas. Collaborating with renowned scientists, Howard has pushed the boundaries of what is possible, blending creativity with rigorous scientific inquiry. His theories, though controversial, have sparked debates and inspired new lines of thought in the scientific community. This journey from actor to intellectual is a testament to Howard's relentless curiosity and his desire to understand the world at a deeper level. Ultimately, Terence Howard's impact transcends both entertainment and science, leaving a legacy that challenges us to think differently and explore the unknown. Howard begins the interview with a startling revelation. He has memories from as early as being in his mother's womb. He describes these memories with surprising detail, claiming to recall the warmth and the muffled sounds from the outside world. This, Howard suggests, has fundamentally shaped his perception of consciousness and reality. The concept of prenatal memories is controversial in scientific circles, as most cognitive psychologists argue that the structures necessary for memory formation only develop postnatally. Yet, Howard's vivid descriptions challenge this consensus, suggesting a need for further research into cognitive development at such early stages. Moreover, Howard's recount of his early life experiences, including his circumcision, points to a heightened sense of awareness and sensitivity. These early experiences, as he explains, are not just memories but have been a guiding force in his explorations and theories. Howard recalls his early childhood vividly, describing moments of joy and pain that have left a lasting imprint on his psyche. He believes these formative years were crucial in developing his unique perspective on life and science. His early education, filled with curiosity and questioning, laid the groundwork for his later theories. Howard's theories on consciousness and reality are deeply intertwined with these early memories, suggesting that our earliest experiences can shape our understanding of the world in profound ways. He argues that the brain's ability to form memories and perceptions starts much earlier than traditionally believed. His work continues to push the boundaries of cognitive science, challenging established norms and encouraging new lines of inquiry. Ultimately, Howard's early memories have not only shaped his personal journey, but have also driven his quest to understand the deeper workings of the human mind. One of the most fascinating aspects of the interview is Howard's discussion around his unified field theory. He proposes that everything in the universe is interconnected through a series of wave conjugations and angles of incidence, a theory that he suggests could redefine physics. Howard also criticizes the traditional periodic table, proposing a dynamic version where elements evolve based on natural curvature rather than being static. His approach is radical, suggesting that the static nature of the current periodic table is a significant oversight by the scientific community, limiting our understanding of chemical processes. These theories, while controversial, highlight Howard's deep engagement with scientific questions and his boldness in challenging established norms. His ideas, if explored, could potentially lead to new understandings in physics and chemistry. Howard delves into mathematical equations that support his theories, often using complex calculations to illustrate his points. He draws parallels between his work and historical scientific breakthroughs, suggesting that his theories could be the next major revolution in science. In his lab, Howard conducts experiments to test his theories, 
constantly refining his ideas based on empirical evidence. The scientific community has had mixed reactions to Howard's theories, with some praising his innovative thinking while others remain skeptical. Despite the controversy, Howard continues to present his ideas at scientific conferences, engaging with peers and addressing their questions. If proven correct, Howard's theories could have far-reaching applications in technology, potentially leading to advancements we can only imagine today. Howard's vision for the future of science is both ambitious and inspiring, challenging us to rethink our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Howard is not just a theorist, he's also an inventor. During the interview, he discusses several patents he holds, including an innovative design for a new periodic table and a propulsion system that uses water to create plasma. He describes these inventions with a passion that reflects his deep commitment to not just theorizing but also applying his ideas. The propulsion system in particular is a testament to Howard's ingenuity. He explains how this system could potentially revolutionize travel by providing a more efficient and environmentally friendly method of propulsion. The practicality of these inventions remains a subject for debate, but their potential impact is undeniably significant. Howard's journey from theories to tangible inventions is a fascinating one. He often starts with a concept that seems abstract, but through rigorous experimentation and relentless pursuit, he brings these ideas to life. His work on the periodic table, for instance, aims to provide a more intuitive understanding of chemical elements. This new design could potentially change how we teach and learn chemistry. Similarly, his water-based propulsion system is not just a theoretical exercise. Howard has built prototypes and conducted numerous tests to demonstrate its feasibility. He envisions a future where this technology could be used in various applications, from space travel to everyday transportation. The potential benefits of such a system are immense, including reduced environmental impact and increased efficiency. Howard's passion for innovation is evident in every project he undertakes. He is driven by a desire to make a real-world impact, and his inventions reflect this commitment. While some may view his ideas as unconventional, there is no denying the creativity and ingenuity behind them. Howard's work challenges us to think differently and to push the boundaries of what is possible. As he continues to innovate, the world watches with anticipation, eager to see what groundbreaking ideas he will bring to life next. Howard's critique of conventional science is perhaps one of the most provocative parts of the interview. He delves deep into the intricacies of scientific paradigms, questioning the very foundations upon which modern science is built. He expresses frustration with the scientific community's reliance on outdated models and theories. Howard believes that many of these models are not only outdated but also fundamentally flawed, leading to a stagnation in scientific progress. His discussions with prominent figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson highlight his willingness to confront these established norms and propose alternatives. These conversations are not just about challenging the status quo, but also about seeking a deeper understanding of the universe. He argues that the scientific community's adherence to Cartesian coordinates and linear thinking is a major hindrance to innovation. According to Howard, this linear approach limits the potential for groundbreaking discoveries and restricts the scope of scientific inquiry. Instead, Howard advocates for a model that incorporates natural curvature and nonlinear thinking, which he believes is more representative of the natural world. He suggests that by embracing these concepts, scientists can unlock new realms of understanding and innovation. Howard has even developed his own mathematical models and equations to support his theories. These models are designed to reflect the complexities and nuances of the natural world, offering a fresh perspective on scientific phenomena. In his lab, Howard conducts experiments that challenge conventional scientific wisdom. His research is driven by a desire to push the boundaries of what is known and to explore the uncharted territories of science. Howard's presentations at scientific conferences are always thought-provoking. He engages with other scientists, encouraging them to think outside the box and to question their own assumptions. The reactions from the scientific community are mixed, with some embracing his ideas and others remaining skeptical. However, these debates are crucial for the advancement of science as they foster a culture of critical thinking and open inquiry. Ultimately, Howard's vision for the future of science is one of transformation and innovation. 
He believes that by questioning established norms and embracing new ways of thinking, we can unlock the true potential of scientific discovery. Beyond the realm of conventional science, Terence Howard delves into profound philosophical insights that challenge our understanding of reality. He speaks passionately about the interconnectedness of all beings and the universe, suggesting that there is a deeply spiritual dimension to his scientific inquiries. Howard believes that recognizing and understanding this interconnectedness is crucial for addressing and solving many of the world's most pressing problems. He touches on the concept of divinity, proposing that each individual harbors a divine component within themselves. This belief is intricately woven into his scientific theories, as he suggests that the unified field theory could provide a framework for understanding this divinity. Howard's spiritual journey is a quest for deeper meaning, seeking to bridge the gap between science and spirituality. He emphasizes the importance of meditation and self-reflection in uncovering the truths about our existence and the universe. Drawing from ancient wisdom and modern science, Howard aims to create a holistic understanding of the cosmos. His theories are not just abstract ideas but are put into practice in his daily life, influencing his actions and decisions. Howard believes that by embracing these philosophical insights, individuals can make a significant impact on their communities and the world at large. His vision for the future is one where science and spirituality coexist harmoniously, leading to a more enlightened and connected world. Ultimately, Howard hopes that his work will leave a lasting legacy, inspiring others to explore the profound connections between science, philosophy, and spirituality. Howard's views extend into the realm of health and medicine, where he expresses skepticism about the efficacy and motives behind modern pharmaceuticals. He questions the intentions of big pharmaceutical companies, suggesting that profit often takes precedence over patient well-being. This skepticism is not unfounded, as many share concerns about the over-prescription of medications and the potential side effects that are sometimes downplayed or not fully understood. He cites historical instances like the Tuskegee experiment to underscore his distrust of conventional medical practices. The Tuskegee study, a notorious clinical study conducted between 1932 and 1972 by the U.S. Public Health Service left many African-American men untreated for syphilis without their informed consent. This dark chapter in medical history serves as a stark reminder of the potential for ethical breaches in medical research and practice. Instead, Howard advocates for alternative health practices and natural remedies, which he believes are more in tune with the body's natural processes. He argues that these methods, often dismissed by mainstream medicine, can offer effective treatments without the harmful side effects associated with many pharmaceuticals. Howard's approach emphasizes the importance of preventative care, nutrition, and the use of natural substances to maintain health and treat ailments. While controversial, his stance invites a critical examination of current medical practices and the pharmaceutical industry. It encourages a broader discussion about the role of profit in healthcare and the need for more transparency and accountability in medical research and treatment. Howard's perspective, though polarizing, highlights the importance of questioning and critically evaluating the systems and practices that impact our health. This critical lens is essential for fostering a more ethical and patient-centered approach to medicine. Throughout the interview, Howard uses various models and diagrams to illustrate his theories. These visual representations are not just supplementary, they are integral to his explanations. These visual aids are crucial for understanding the complexity of his ideas. Without them, it would be challenging to grasp the full scope of his innovative thoughts. They provide a concrete form to his abstract theories, making them more accessible to the audience. By translating abstract concepts into visual formats, Howard bridges the gap between imagination and comprehension. The diagrams of his new periodic table, for example, show how he envisions the dynamic relationships between elements. This new periodic table is not just a static chart but a dynamic model that reflects the fluid nature of elemental interactions. Similarly, his explanations of the propulsion system are accompanied by sketches that demonstrate how it would work in practice. These sketches are detailed and meticulously crafted, providing a step-by-step -step visualization of the propulsion mechanics. 
The audience's reactions to these visual aids are telling. Many find themselves nodding in understanding, while others engage in discussions, trying to delve deeper into the theories presented. Howard's ability to explain these diagrams in a clear and engaging manner further enhances their effectiveness. His passion for his work is evident, and it resonates with those who are eager to learn. Historically, scientific diagrams have played a crucial role in the evolution of scientific models. Howard's approach is a continuation of this tradition, pushing the boundaries of how we visualize and understand complex ideas. Looking ahead, the potential for these visual aids to revolutionize our understanding of science is immense. As technology advances, so too will our ability to create even more sophisticated and accurate representations of theoretical concepts. Howard's interaction with digital models and virtual reality tools showcases the future of scientific visualization. These tools allow for an immersive experience, making complex theories not just understandable, but also tangible. Imagine a classroom where students can explore scientific models in virtual reality, gaining a deeper understanding through interactive learning. This is the direction Howard envisions, and it's a promising one. In the end, Howard's innovative use of visual aids is more than just a teaching tool, it's a gateway to a deeper understanding of the universe. As he continues to push the boundaries of science, his visualizations will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the future of scientific discovery. Terence Howard's interview on the Joe Rogan Experience hash 2152 is more than just a celebrity appearance. It is a profound exploration of unconventional scientific theories, philosophical insights, and innovative inventions. Howard challenges the norms and invites us to think differently about science, philosophy, and the world at large. The reception of Howard's ideas is mixed, with some viewing him as a visionary and others as a mere contrarian. Regardless of where one stands, it's undeniable that this interview serves as a catalyst for discussion and debate, encouraging a deeper engagement with the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. This exploration of Howard's mind reveals not only the depth of his thinking but also the potential impacts his theories and inventions could have on our understanding of the world. Howard's unique perspective and unconventional approach to science break traditional boundaries and push the limits of what we consider possible. His influence on future thinkers and innovators cannot be understated, as he inspires creativity and encourages out-of-the-box thinking. Howard's legacy will likely be one of challenging the status quo and shaping future scientific and philosophical discourse. His contributions to science and philosophical debates will endure, leaving a lasting impact on how we view the world. Howard's journey, both personal and professional, is a testament to overcoming challenges and achieving breakthroughs. His resilience and dedication to innovation will continue to inspire future generations, cementing his enduring legacy. Ultimately, Howard's impact on the world broadens our horizons and expands our understanding of what is possible. His theories and inventions hold future implications that will leave a lasting mark and influence on future generations. Howard's profound impact and legacy of innovation will continue to shape our understanding of science and philosophy for years to come.